focused, uh, thinking that games more than likely are going to get a little tougher the closer you get to Indianapolis? Um, you know, we're a week away from there, so what kind of mo what more motivation uh, would any team need, especially a group of kids that uh, have been there and done that, and they know what it takes. So that's what we're banking on, that they'll come out ready to play like they have almost every Friday this year. Talk about uh, Central a little bit. Played them last year in semi-state. Yeah. Uh, had a pretty good game against them. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you can never expect the same thing. No, but, year, uh, but how do you prepare for that this year? Well, it's an interesting matchup. Their kids are almost all back, and so are ours. So, um, not that that means it's the same kind of game, but uh, they're, they're a good team. They're physical. They're big. They got some some good running backs. Um, we like what we do, and that's our challenge is to do the best that we can play. And I think if we play the best we can, we have a chance to advance. Uh, talk about the game being Saturday, kind of giving you an extra day. How does that benefit you guys, especially playing at home? Uh, I don't think it's a benefit at all. Uh, I don't think it's a hindrance. I don't think it means anything, uh, what, no matter what day it is. You have to be ready to play. So all we did this week was give them Monday off, and uh, today is kind of our Tuesday of the week. So hopefully it won't have any impact at all. So the focus is there uh, so far this week. Things have been pretty good getting ready for Saturday. We've had week after week of excellent practices, and uh, that's this time of year, that says a lot, I think, because it's hard to do because uh, it's been a long year, but uh, the prize is so close you can almost taste it. So you hope that pushes you for this weekend and next. What's, what's been the difference in the playoffs? It seems that... Uh, you guys have kind of hit a different notch. Your offense we're is just a lot better. we're just more athletic than the people we're playing. I mean, there's just no question about that, and that's not a uh, cocky or arrogant statement. It's just a reality. We have some very talented kids, and uh, a lot of teams that we've seen don't see that week in and week out, like we do in Fort Wayne in the SAC every week. You see great athletes and big kids and diverse styles and by the time we get to the playoffs we're prepared for about anything. We're into the playoffs, how do you maintain your focus knowing that you might not always have easy games like you've had the last couple of weeks? All right, well, I mean, it's been a good ride so far. We definitely don't want to lose the week before state, so that's definitely a big incentive for us right now. We want to go back down to Lucas, play for a state championship. So we're just staying focused and playing Lewis football. Hey, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to repeat that first question. Talk no. about um, you're playing at home before the state would be. Now, I don't want you to look ahead, but does it help as the team that you get to play at home before you would essentially play for the big game? I would definitely say so, yes. I mean, it's great to play at home. We have a lot of fans coming. We know the field. Uh, the rest of is a great team. We played them at home last year, and it was a great game. Very disciplined, and we're looking forward to it. Talk about a little bit more about them. Uh, you guys played on my year in semi-state and beat them by 30, I think. Uh, obviously, you can't have that same mentality coming in this year, even though both of you guys have a lot of the same players coming right. back. Talk about what the focus and, and the goal kind of is coming into Saturday. Well, they're definitely a great team. I mean, they're undefeated. Their linebacker is very good. They have a huge defensive line. they got some big kids up there. So our offensive line is going to do a great job for me and the running backs as well, making holes for us. And we're just going to go out and play uh, our best game of the year. Uh, I have to ask, uh, when you're sitting under center, and you see that you've got one deep safety coverage, and you've got man coverage on the outside. Do you, do you, uh, I mean, is it you can't get the ball quick enough out there? Definitely. I mean, I have a great set of receivers. I mean, we have a lot of playmakers. And when you see that one safety high, it's real fun. I mean, the receivers know what's coming. They know they got to make plays. I just got to give them the ball in time. Uh, talk about a little bit more about that, just about the receiving core that you have. I mean, with, with Chapel and... And with Rodgers, I mean, you got guys that are speedy but also have some pretty good hands. Right. I mean, Nick Chapel's got some sick hands. One of the best I've ever seen. Mike Rodgers, I mean, I've been playing with him for two years now. We'll have another one next year. He's a big, great receiver. Eric Sorg, I mean, he's a big target to hit. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. Kenny, Q, we got all those guys. They make plays for me. Okay. Thank you.